Okay, so another way to generate hydrogen is through a process called electrolysis. You can do that in a couple different ways. It can be just um, two electrodes um, with a current that's run across. But in that instance, the water has to have an electrolyte put through it so that it conducts electricity. Because as you should remember from science, pure water doesn't conduct electricity very well. Now, another way to do that is to use the fuel cell itself and apply a current across these two electrodes through the fuel cell inside here. And inside of this box is this. This is the exchange membrane. Okay, it's a platinum catalyst in a matrix and it allows the exchange of electrons across here. And in so doing, it will capture electricity if it's built inside of something like this. At one point, I thought we were gonna try and build these as a class project and it turned out cutting the graphite blocks that we needed to do conduct electricity was more challenging than it was worth. So, we are going to use this and apply a current so the batteries are for, across this, and it will generate hydrogen and oxygen gas, which we will then use to power something. Okay, so if we turn this on, you can see that gases are being produced. Okay, now watch the levels drop inside those canisters. Now, notice the volumes change. Okay, notice there's about twice as much hydrogen being produced as there is oxygen. Why would that be? Remember, water is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. We split it in half. You get two molecules of hydrogen, one molecule of oxygen, therefore twice the amount. Okay, and that'll run. We'll let it fill as much as we want, and then we can try and do something with all of this. And I would say that's probably good enough at this point. So we can unhook our electrodes and that just sits there like a battery. And if we put a multimeter to it, you can see that there is a voltage potential across here, meaning that it has the potential to do work of some kind if I get the hand out of the way. So right now it has a voltage potential of about one and a half volts, which is roughly the same as a AA battery. Okay, so that alone sits as a AA battery and we can use it to do meaningful work. Now, one thing I thought that we would try today was connecting it to an LED. Okay, so connecting it to two electrodes. I don't know if this is going to work because typically the cut in voltage for an LED is two. And if we're only making one and a half, I don't know if we can get this to light. But let me take that and grab it here. And nothing. Nothing. Okay, so it doesn't have enough voltage to light the LED. This kit did come with what they call an intelligent fuel cell car, and we'll set that up and let it run around here. Okay, so here's a fuel cell car hooked up. The Here's a fuel cell, our storage tanks. We prepare to be underwhelmed. Plug this in. Plug this in. And that's what this does. But you can see the lights light up. You can see there's a wheel underneath that moves. It does generate some power. Um, my counter's fairly slippery, so it doesn't grip real well. But it would move around. And as a proof of concept, it works just fine. Okay, um, hopefully this makes some sense, answer the questions, and I'll look for another video next week.